Hi guys, this is Super 3 and today we are playing Tearaway Unfolded. Um, when you're playing Maple Fields right at the beginning of the level, you'll come across this guy who wants you to give him some eyes. Um, just put some eyes on his face and you'll have completed extra thing to do, number one. I think I've just made him look super angry because he's got a heart shaped face and angry eyes, it's just weird looking. After you complete the task, um, you'll get the box. Now when you enter Maypole Fields, like the main area, after you've done the pig part, you will notice that on the right there is a carousel that you can just take a picture of, which is you know plain white, and that would be your first papercraft plan on this level. Now to the left of the carousel you'll come across extra thing to do number two and there's a guy here. This guy wants a picture of an elk. So to do that we're going to have to run over to the snow biome here. Now if you've seen my other trophy videos, um, there's, I did one for the trophy good old day where you have to take a picture of an elk with the gopher riding him so this is the same place as that but in that video I happen to take a picture of the paper craft object that is also behind the elk and it is that tree that is immediately to the left of this elk I've gone to here so um, take a picture of your elk and to get the second paper craft plan make sure you take a picture of that tree and it's the biggest one there on the right there I'm just trying to it's now in the center of the screen and you should just take a picture like this and if you haven't um, done it like I have or you didn't accidentally take a picture of it while you're taking a picture of the elk like I've done then uh, that will get you a paper craft plan now make your way back to that guy who was kind of close to the carousel and he will open his package and that mission will be completed. Now from the guy where we took a picture of the elk we're going to walk past him and we're going to find papercraft plan 3 which is there as you can see just behind the barn. They stand out pretty they're quite a lot so you probably will notice a lot of these as you're just going through the levels. It doesn't matter if the picture comes out blurry like that. As you can see in the bottom right, it shows the picture counted. If you don't get that pop up there, then it won't. And also, the object will go from white to coloured after you've done it correctly. Now, I'm just taking the path up to Grocer's Barn right now. Sorry for the jump there, that was a cutscene. Um, and we're going to go to the left pick up all the confetti here as well there's some more to the left there anyway we j jump down and uh, we're going to go into this pipe you got to use a light to open up the pipe and this will give us extra thing to do number three here so go and talk to the bell slash tent thing and what we're going to have to do for this task is we're going to have to light up everything in the room so he wants us to shine our light on everything here. So let's just see what we can highlight. And remember to pick up all the confetti in here again. Oh, you can see there's some stuff sleeping, so we're going to wake up these plants. And whatever else is tied up by the plants. Like there looks like there's something at the top of this ledge here. So that's three objects I've uh, woken up with my light so far. Four, five, six. Um, that still hasn't finished it, so there must be another something here to light up. Uh, 
Oh, there in the background, there's something I can see with the Z's over its head there. So that's seven. And it woke up. And we've beaten that extra thing to do. Okay, so I'm standing facing Grocer's Barn, as you can see there. That's the main entrance from that way. That's the ice biome, and that's the creepy forest. If we walk past the entrance of the creepy forest, there is another extra thing to do. So let's walk over to this guy and see what he wants. So he wants us to collect three gophers. And as we've been running around, we've seen that there's been actually kind of a lot of gophers lying around. So let's just grab one. Here's the first. It's going to be different from you. Also, I just would like to point out that if you look at the top of the top left of the screen as I was running there, you could see that there's some confetti in the trees. We're going to have to remember to pick all that up. There's more in that tree there. Um, we're going to have to go everywhere and pick up all the confetti. I think we're going to need later abilities to do that. Um, the flying one in particular. Okay, that he doesn't like throwing from that direction, so you have to throw from the front only, from the looks of things. Oh, and look, there's a third gopher. We've been quite lucky here. I remember, um, you won't be able to unlock everything the first time you're here. I'm going to put everything in one video, but um, it, it for you won't. You will have to get progress further in the game to get some of the unlockables on this stage, unfortunately. Anyway, from where we just did that bouncing thing, there is extra thing to do number four, I believe. Was that five? No, that would be extra thing to do number five. This one is. Um, he just wants this. Elk just wants us to decorate him. I'm not going to even bother trying to put any effort in that because I don't think we're going to see him again. So anyway, we've done that. Anyway, now it's time to find more goodies, so we're just walking away from that elk. And if you can see in the distance there, that there is a hidden present there. So, you know, just to just so you know where we are, that's the snow biome, and that's Grocer's Barn in front of us. And you can see that is um, a hidden present if we go through this log. And I think that's the first hidden present we've picked up on this stage. Now, for the next few things we're going to do, we're going to need the ball power up. So for starters, you can see this little bridge here. There's actually confetti hidden underneath it, so you need to go into the ball power up and use that. This is something you unlock later in the game, so don't worry if you can't turn into a ball just yet. Then roll out of that. Anyway, again using the ball power up, we're heading back to... We're heading back to that cave where we lit things up. That's behind um, Grocer's Barn. And um, we, we're now equipped with the ball power up. Um, if you look there behind this big statue, sorry, black pedestal area, there's um, a ball area we can jump into. So that's where the entrance is. And if you look, that is where you'll find the ball area. So go through this, and we'll have another extra thing to do here. I think that is number six by my count. Um, I did a really crap design for the plant, so crap that it doesn't actually even show up. Uh, but it doesn't matter what you do, because they'll just give you it. And immediately next to that dude, there is also another paper craft object, which I think is our third one on this stage or fourth one I know it's a fourth one so we're taking a picture of that okay so I've now headed over to the snow biome and you'll notice there's this little boat if you roll it as a ball into the box next to it you will find this weird guy who sounds extremely suspicious um, 
then we will end up um, having to take a picture of him with him and his friend who looks like him who's the guy who's behind his shoulder right now so we're just gonna have to wait till that guy comes in shot which is there he's just come in and we take the picture remember the blurriness isn't they don't really care about but you just need to make sure both people are in the shot then he'll be very happy So, jump off the train and head over to, um, it was close to the main entrance, but we're going between the main entrance and the snow biome. And you'll notice this little hole here. So, you can see the end, where I am roughly there. And just roll into this and there'll be a present for you to grab. And something glitched there and killed me as I came out of that hole. I don't know why. Anyway, we're gonna now. Um, well, I should just grab that confetti while I'm running past it. We're now gonna go over to the scary looking forest over in the distance. If memory serves, I think it's slightly to the right of that where I saw the suspicious looking hole, which I'm pretty sure is gonna have one of our hidden presents in it. If not, it's going to have confetti. It's going to have something. Um, I think I just have to probably go a bit to the right. And there it is. In the dip. You can see it there. So, there's the creepy forest. There's Grocer's Barn. Just roll yourself up. Get into the hole. Now we can get that present. And now to get the final hidden present we are going to need to use the flying ability. Now after you've beaten level 8, uh, Coggage Cove, um, paper will start appearing on this level so you'll be able to come back revisit and make yourself a plane. Now this is going to be handy for a couple of reasons. You're going to be able to fly up to the top middle bit here and we are going to be able to get the final present and collect upon the stage we'll also be able to fly around and collect stuff inside the trees the last bits of confetti that we're probably missing because I don't think there's any other way we could technically get up there Wow, I've just completely messed that up. I think it's about time we saw what these crafty crows are truly capable of. Um, anyway, um, just try and get the last few, um, piece of confetti by going through the trees. I think there's five or six of them. If you fly around, you should be able to get them all, though. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five that I can see directly here. I'm not sure if that one over there is another one. Um, Anyway guys, thanks for watching, until next time, bye.